accounts. So what we're doing here is the personal account, but there's also the, um, the, the, the business. Notice when I click on my on the me icon, I see that I've got to manage uh, these different businesses. So I've got all these businesses that I could manage. So for example, if I just click on one, it's got the particular business, updates, etc. So this is one of the examples where they are kind of moving things around. The last time I taught this a few months ago, from this little panel here, where I would see the businesses, there was also Manage Company. Now they seem to have moved that button somewhere else. So we'll have fun together finding it. <laughs> Let's see, maybe it's under work. Learning groups, salary, slide share. So 10, 10 bonus victor points if you find it first. Somewhere I'm looking for a screen about creating and managing company pages. Let's see. Settings and privacy, I doubt that. So, member view. It's under work. What's that? I found all the way at the bottom. All the way at the bottom it says create a company. Oh, okay. That's but. good. I think that's going to be it. So, I remember seeing it under me and then manage. But now I guess under work at the very end you have create a company page. So that's that's what I'm looking for. We've got the um, personal profile and then we've got that we can create a page for a company. Like that sounds like Facebook and that sounds like Google Plus. So to put that in the notes you can create company pages. So from the menu, work, create company page. You don't have to fill it out, but as an example, I will click it and it'll say, okay, let's set up your company page. What's the name and what's the URL? On this one, it does give you a lot more directly the ability to, uh, to claim this, sh this short name, this vanity address. Whereas on the personal one, you kind of have to jump through a few hoops and go through a few screens to claim your personal name. Here, as I'm creating the business, listing, I can put the name and then put its address right away. And the syntax of it, the way it's written, will be linkedin.com slash company slash the name of your company. So that's one thing that I, I think it's kind of weird. This is the only network that really does it, but you just have to know. Personal links look something like this, http colon slash slash linkedin.com slash in slash John Smith. But then company links looks like http colon slash slash linkedin.com slash company slash the name of the company, Smith Realtors. So this is the syntax, this is the way it's written. Every person on LinkedIn has, if they claim their name there, it's going to be something slash, or it's going to be LinkedIn slash in slash something. If there are companies, it's that way. Now, knowing this, knowing this is kind of informational because it doesn't really help you that much. Let's say you are looking for your for your good friend or your old connection, you know, uh, Barbara Jones. Just because I type that name there does not mean it'll be the Barbara Jones that I know or that I used to know. That just happens to be the Barbara Jones that did claim that name at some point. And this may be someone in England that I don't know. And then even worse with these companies. Um, you don't know what these 
accounts really are, so it's probably really going to work better for you to do a search for the particular person or company. Just out of complete curiosity, let's see who Barbara Jones is. Provincial Project Program Manager at J.A. Titan, J.A. British Columbia, Canada. Okay, 300 connections in Canada, send her a message, etc. So, she's got a pretty public profile, and again, be be aware of that when you're public. You know, uh, so I'm logged in, so it, it might show something different. But she got a notification. Victor Campos looked at your profile. And if you care about that, you know, be aware of that. And let's see, I, I doubt this one will exist, but we'll see. Smith Realtors Company. Not found. Yeah, so there's no Smith Realtors. Anyway, so from this screen of creating this company, you can do this just as a testing account and then delete it later. Let's say, I can say Victor's Bakery. A page with this company name already exists, but you can still create this page. Are you sure you're not creating a duplicate? So I have this. I have done this for different uh, classes. So that's why it's telling me there's already a Victor's Bakery on LinkedIn. You can still create it, but are you sure it's not a duplicate? The uh, the company web address here that. One, however, like the other networks, has to be unique. So if it's not letting me Victor's, which looks very awkward, Victor dash s dash bakery, I actually want Victor's bakery like that. But most likely that one's taken. Yes. What was the, the, the warning about? So it says, but you can still create this page. Yes, this is the thing about company name, like other networks, that this is not unique. So um, I can. But. What about the, the extension? This extension, this address, that one has to be unique, yes. And it will tell you if that one's already taken. So it doesn't say about extension, it says about the company name. It's only about the company name, not the extension. Yes. The extension is already ex exists. It's not like that, right? This one uh, does not exist, but if I'm trying to do one that does exist, it will tell me when I try to create it. So then when I click Create on that, we look forward to helping you. This page is designed to help you better manage, make a great first impression, give candidates full content, want to have an international presence. OK, so I created that account, and it's giving me these various tips. What should I do here if I'm trying to get more, if I'm trying to hire people, if I'm trying to reach a bigger audience, and that would be under Learn More. I'm going to, for completeness, I'm going to copy that link that they were giving me and put it into the, into the notes. After creating business page, this info. We'll put that in the notes, and that's uh, just one of these uh, links there uh, that has a lot of extra insight and info on how to use the link, uh, the business page a lot more effectively. So then I have a profile for this business it's going to look different than the personal page, but it has the space for your company logo. And again, you would want to edit that uh, as soon as possible. It doesn't look quite professional to have the generic icon. If you need to change the company name, which is not unique, you can uh, click there. And then there's one employee, which is me. I'm following it. Um, I can fill in all of this stuff about the overview of the business, about the business company description. So remember, as I searched before, it gave me results of a bunch of realtors. So just like every other network, when people search, it's going to find things on people's accounts. So if I've got this business that I'm trying to recruit for, 
or I'm trying to get hired, I want to fill in the company description, and I've got 2,000 characters here to write whatever I want. Uh, think in terms about complete sentences that are full of keywords about what the business is. After creating, read this info, then also fill in the account, icons, and text. They have something called specialties, which are another way to do these keywords. Address of a website required. Technically here, I suppose, if you don't have a website, you can also put uh, the link over to your Twitter and such. Company size required, what's the industry, company type, year founded, optional. Are you at any physical locations? Add that. Featured groups. So uh, this is a side topic, but I'll note it for the moment. Facebook has groups. Not Facebook. LinkedIn has groups like Facebook. Like Facebook groups. Like uh, Google Plus communities. So that means this is places where people congregate on a topic. And similar to Google+, Plus, you can join these communities or you can ask to join. So if you try to ask to join a community, someone is going to, a moderator is going to go check out your profile and see what are they about, um, what, uh, what are they about, what, uh, what do you offer? Then they'll decide to j let you join or not. If whatever you're mostly sharing on your personal profile is not related to that group, they probably won't let you in. What 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 are you going to bring of value to the group? So a person or business can join a group. And we saw the value of groups in Google+, Plus, which is similar on Facebook, where it's a captive audience. I have zero connections right now, zero followers. I want to build those so I can go to these, com uh, these groups and post there and be active and reply to people and all of that, be social in the social network. And that could help me uh, get more activity. So groups. On the top right corner of this business, there is admin tools where I can set more administrators, where I can have other people also help me out to uh, manage this business. Extend your reach. So the terminology there, it's very good marketing, marketing, marketing talk. Uh, it's enticing you. Extend your reach. I want to reach more people. I want better results. Well, that goes into sponsor your updates uh, or a showcase page. So sponsor, they use that term instead of boosting. So this is their whole system of ads, like the other networks. It's under admin tools.
there's something new here that I need to educate myself on. Uh, showcase page. From the quick description that I read, it looks like it's attached to a parent page. Sort of like a sub page to this parent page, I guess. So I need to look into that. What exactly is that showcase page? Quick start guide, and then down here, deactivate company page. So if you've created this as a testing example, you can deactivate it. And then this is the overview page, and then we've got the updates page or screen. Then this is similar to the rest of LinkedIn where you can um, create updates where you can share a photo, links, and all of that. And there's the content so that you can get followers. I'm going to look at LinkedIn from another view. This is I'm not log logged in. So that account that I created doesn't really have anything important. But if I were to have filled it in, I would see the logo and graphics and everything. And then people could see follow. So people want to keep up to date with what this business is publishing. And I would see that under updates. So let's just say uh, open for business. Coupon code sale sixty five or a discount. So this would be public, and then also if someone had followed the page, they would see what I've posted on their home screen. So there it is recent update. Victor's Bakery wrote this. Like, comment, share, etc. Your big question to answer. Should I use LinkedIn as a person? as a business, as both. So that's something really for you to decide, uh, because using it as a business gives you different features and it has different purposes to bring attention to your business, uh, to maybe maybe get recruits or you know hire people that you can turn that on or off or use it or not. Uh, or maybe you want both. Maybe you're the person and you also need to um, have your business visible. So would you be able to... The same connections you have are going to be the connections in your business if it's a soft page? No. Uh, I created this one, and uh, they have to actively follow. So if I had 40 connections in my personal, it would not automatically transfer. Although from my personal account, you know, I can click here to share it back to my personal and let my 40 friends know, my 40 connections, let them know I've got a page. It's still up to them to click follow. This business page gives you analytics, so you can see your visitors and updates, which one was the most popular and all of that, who your followers are. So this is uh, uh, one reason to use this, that you get this data. And the more data, the better, because I can tell what, uh, what has worked and what has not to figure out what to post and what to share, let's take another look at Social Media Examiner. There might be an article in the stream here, but instead I'm going to, on the right side, go to Categories and search. Let's see what people are saying about LinkedIn or what articles are, are in 
linked in here. How to use LinkedIn native video, LinkedIn mass audience, four LinkedIn mini case studies. With any of these articles that you see on any of these sites, I would try to favor the articles with a, with a newer date. This is June, this is May, this is January 2017. I think all of these are probably good articles, but if I was seeing October 2014, I wouldn't trust that article as much because social media changes, the menus change, the screens change. And if that article is telling you how to do live video on Facebook, and it says click here and click there, but it's from three years ago, most likely the network changed its look a little bit. So try to go with articles that are newer. Let's see, four LinkedIn mini case studies, one focus on employee experience. So we have the example of Disney. Share product-centric content. Mentioning IBM. Highlight customer satisfaction. So these are ideas from big companies, what has worked for them on LinkedIn. So I would browse this site and try to get ideas. How to engage prospects on LinkedIn. Five-step plan for better leads. LinkedIn, what the latest research reveals. This is from, this is barely last month. This might be a really valuable one. long-form content performs best. So where other networks like Twitter and such are so short, quick little blurbs, it seems from their research here that longer ones are better, longer articles are better than shorter articles. The most, this data shows that the most shared pieces of content were long-form long articles of 1,000 to 3,000 words. It looks like more people are going to use LinkedIn, according to these stats. So here it's listing some popular platforms, so people always ask what's the best one to choose. Here's one possible answer. So again, Facebook's at the top. Instagram, according to this data, surpassing YouTube, this has to do with uh, marketing. Uh, maybe like where you're putting your, your ad dollars, where you're paying to reach an audience. Instagram. Uh, okay, I see why Instagram might be so high. Instagram uh, is actually owned by Facebook. And we will see next week. Uh, you can create boosts in Facebook that automatically go to Instagram. So this sort of gets an automatic leg up to reach an audience because it's tied to Facebook. Then YouTube, a lot of people market there, and then LinkedIn, Twitter, not so much, Pinterest, and not Snapchat.
All right, so uh, winding down, these are, once again, things that you should try, uh, creating the profile and the business page, and then you trying it, and then there's slide share and a whole bunch of new things to look at. But this could be an avenue for people that could be valuable. There is such this glut uh, of, on these other networks and maybe fatigue, but this one is supposed to be more professional, so it's not about funny cat pictures and keeping up with the news and all of that. This is a network that could be valuable tangibly because it's about maybe I'm trying to get a bus I'm trying to get a job or trying to get a business off the ground. And here's a place where that's what that's the goal. I also do like it because uh, me personally subscribing to various thought leaders, you know, people in the industry of these various uh, things uh, that I'm interested in, and I get so many articles that I could uh, use. So any uh, questions in general about the things we talked about? Um, do you have to, to use uh, your business page from your phone? Because I know that LinkedIn has an app for your phone, but I can't get to my business page from that app. So is it like Facebook or Facebook has Facebook Manager and that's how I manage my Facebook pages? Or do you I'm not sure because personally I like using the, the desktop computer a lot when I do any of this management stuff because I have a nice a bigger monitor. I actually have double monitors at home. So on one monitor I have some important stuff and then I have this other monitor to do other stuff. So I think then when I go to a device I'm, I suddenly feel so constrained. So I, I don't know if there's a special like page manager app on LinkedIn like there is on Facebook. I sort of feel probably. You might have to look at it in the App Store. Okay. I, I don't know but I personally I like the, uh, the full screen experience. Have you heard about opportunity? For a while there, I thought um, a lot of my LinkedIn connections are an opportunity. And I think so it's so, like a social network or something? Well, it, I thought it was part of LinkedIn, but I just found out it's not. And it's, um, I think it's like a lead generation, but it connects you. It, it's almost like it pulls the information from LinkedIn. No, I hadn't. I hadn't used it. I hadn't heard of it. So uh, let's see what it says here. Myopportunity.com. Uh, a lead generation tool built inside of a business network. Opportunity matches you with professionals who can bring you sales, advance your career. So yeah, I don't doubt that they would be pulling data from other networks, especially LinkedIn. Um, a lot of these networks give, give sites and, and people and apps access to all of their data, either for free or for pay. So I don't doubt that then these guys built some sort of network on top of LinkedIn data, which then they are repurposing it somehow for us, for lead generation and such. So I would further read what they're about and examples. And I hadn't heard of it, so it might be useful for me to check out. And it looks like they've got various uh, kudos from the important ones. Yeah, I get emails business. on a daily basis on uh, various topics that are useful. Well, no, people trying to connect with me, like it was oh. LinkedIn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's why I thought it was LinkedIn. <clears throat> it might be, it might be, uh, you know, a side Facebook competitor that might be useful, and and for us to hear about it, we might then like it. So I'll put it in the notes. If people would be interested, I could write here a in a in addition to LinkedIn. opportunity.com. Okay, so we'll have a little bit of lab time. Remember that there's a class coming in right after us. If you need any help, uh, I'll help you as best as I can. If you need to print, I'll turn the printer back on. These notes that I wrote right here, I'm putting them in the folder right now. If you'd like access to the videos, um, you need to send me an email and I'll send you a, a link with the new videos. So back on the network folder in Social 2, I just put in 1006 text file with the notes I wrote today.